Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be addressing a question that I received recently regarding property set data in Civil 3D. The question was how to create a pull down list with a fixed set of attributes to choose from when you assign property set data to objects. And if you'd like a little more background information on property set data and getting started with property sets in Civil 3D and AutoCAD, I recommend that you look back at our blog and my colleague Jeff Bartles over the last year has recorded two or three videos on this topic. So let's get started. So I've got some data here. I have some 3D solid data representing utilities, and then I have some gravity pipe network, and then I have a pressure pipe network. So we're gonna go to the manage tab, and I'm gonna define property sets. And notice we have no property sets at this time. One thing we're gonna to need to do is turn this filter off at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the bottom or down midway to list definitions. This is what we're going to use to build a list. So I'm going to create a property set that will give me a list of owners and I'm going to create a property set that will give me a list of the subsurface utility uh, classifications for these pipes. So I'm going to go start by going to the list definition and I'm going to start with an owner list. This is just going to be my pull down list. So I'm going to go to general. I can put a description. Applies to manual. These are going to be manual property sets. And under items, I'm just going to add my pull down list. And so my owner would be a utility company, gas company, communication company, maybe a cable company. And then last, I'm just gonna enter the name owner so that the user would be reminded that they need to select an owner. This will be my default value. So I'm gonna hit apply. Now I'm gonna go back and create another list for SUE classification. This value basically represents the quality of the utility, A being the highest, B being the lowest, A being surveyed, D being just GIS data. So applies to manual property definition. And then we're going to enter our four classifications. And if you look back at uh, one of my colleagues' first videos on this about a year ago, you'll see he puts in very similar. I was trying to keep this similar to his video, but just showing again, based on the question I received on how to put these in a list. Now, one thing to notice, there is a toggle, is do you want this to be able to vary from the list? So do you want your user to be able to type in something manually? And I don't on, on these, but you could if you wanted to be able to override the options that are in the list. So now that I have my two list definitions complete, SUE and owner, I'm gonna go back to property sets and we're just gonna do our build property sets as normal. I'm gonna go to right click new. I wanna call this property set. Now let's just put them both in one definition. So this def definition will just be attribute. There we go. And applies to, what do we want this to apply to? Well, I want it to apply to solids. There's 3D solids. I want it to apply to pressure pipe. So here's pressure parts, pressure pipe. I want it to apply to gravity pipe. There's gravity pipe. And then last, we'll take structures. So that should cover all the elements in my file. So that makes it available for these type of objects to add these property set definitions. And now on to the definition. We'll create these as usual, add a manual property. We'll call this one owner for the first property. Instead of text, this is the difference here. We're gonna pick list and which list. It's gonna be the owner list. And our default value will just be owner. We'll do this again. This will be SUE. We can put a description if we classification, same thing. Type is a list. Source is SUE. That's the list name. Default value, we'll pick the lowest and we'll hit OK. So now I want to basically add those attributes to these particular objects. But notice now if I just pick on one of the solids, it's here. So I'm just going to 
add that uh, property set to that solid. And then I'll pretend to be the, the user here and I'll add the owner name and the SUE value. And then I'll pick the gas pipe here, add the attribute. And now I can go back to properties and notice now I have a nice pull down list to pick the gas company and the SUE class. And I can continue for any object in the file. So I hope this helps to see how we can quickly create a pull down list for attributes within property sets in Civil 3D. Have a great day.